professor, I would test you in the worst way. Don't bring a scantron, it's pop quizzes all day. Cause of our chemistry, we do biology. What's happening, fam? LAR movement still moving. Subscribe or die trying. You see the thumbnail, man. DJ Jubilee loses 39 kids. Now, this is over a period of time, but he was talking like talking about how tiring it was that, you know, he's a mentor and a football coach for at-risk kids. And over the years, he's lost 39 of them to violence, a.k.a. the streets, a.k.a., you know, crime, criminality, the underworld. Now, for y'all who don't know who DJ Jubilee is, New Orleans, if you ever heard, get it ready, get it ready, get it ready, that's DJ Jubilee. If you ever heard that, you know, people been dancing to that for 25 years, that I can think more than that. Um, but what's most important, and I, I don't want to come off so bad about this when I say the, some of the things I'm saying, so I'm trying to uh, preface myself. The biggest problem that you have is he's tired because of, of the situation surrounding at-risk kids. Now, on one end, instance, at-risk kids come from bad families, normally. You know, oh, yeah, I, I can't say that. Sometimes good families, sometimes bad families. You know, sometimes the kids makes a choice, but that's what it is. But that lifestyle creates unnecessary drama. And the problem with that is this. <clears throat> People, have, we've spent so many resources in our community helping at-risk kids that we don't help kids who actually deserve help. You know, we've helped the at-risk kids, but not the kids who, who are in need. So ultimately, we have a big problem. And the problem is we're helping the wrong people. You know, and I know you don't want to give up on kids. And I know, you know, it's a lot of stress involved. And you might see yourself with some of these at-risk kids and have so much potential. But that's always been the elephant in the room is like wrong group, wrong group. You got to help the, the kids who are doing the right thing because <clears throat> what happens is we're enabling at-risk youth by always doing things for at-risk youth. And while enabling them, they keep thinking they're going to get more and more attention for being at-risk and people are going above and beyond for them while undermining kids who are doing the right thing. Sucks to say, but that's what it is. Um, <clears throat> now, the other thing about that is this. Whew, excuse me. The violence, and I'm not a big person who's, I don't have a problem with confrontation. I don't have a problem with things going left. I don't have a problem with getting into it. But I do have a problem with if it's behind something stupid. And the problem with, not, with, with people are talking about the violence and the criminality is usually it's behind something stupid. It's behind somebody who got their feelings hurt. It's behind somebody who picked the fight and who doesn't know how to fight, so they'll pull out a gun instead. Oh, oh, I'm mad. No, you're really not mad. You're just looking for an excuse to hurt somebody because you're mad at yourself. You're not really mad at other people. You're mad at yourself or you're mad at a family member or you're mad at a friend or you're mad at somebody who you want to beat up but you can't, so you take it out on somebody else. So for me, that's stupid. You know, it's just dumb. So that's that's one thing that's involved in this. The other thing that, that becomes an issue along the way <clears throat> is y'all wonder why people leave the community or why aren't you involved in the community? Because there are people like DJ Jubilee who have been there year in, year out, day in, day out, month in, month out. And while they're there for your at-risk kids, they're somewhere there for you as an at-risk parent. <clears throat> and y'all have, y'all don't pick up the torch. Like if he's there in football season being a, a coach and mentor, come basketball season, you got to go to another coach and mentor. You know, come baseball or track season, you got to go to another coach and mentor. And you just recycle the coaching and mentoring and the raising up. But you never 
You never, never just take up the torch and go, hey, it's my look, I'm going to get this right. They don't see these kids getting better every year. The football coach doesn't see an improvement in this kid's behavior, you know, every year. When he sees him, he's getting better, and he's getting better. The basketball coach don't see him getting better. The track coach don't see him getting better. As a matter of fact, the older they get, the the, the more disruptive some of the, a lot of them get, and what happens is they wind up quitting and walking away, and then you hear about them in the streets, and then, you know, such and such didn't make it. So when you're in these predicaments, that's the reason why people are tired. They, they, they're tired of this. Like, it's like, man, I'm, I'm done, man. You know, I got to take care. And people put their families on the back burner to help these at-risk families and sometimes lose their families, lose their kids, because even sometimes the kids get jealous. The, 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 the nieces, the nephews, the cousins, you know what I'm saying? They get jealous because it's like, really? Really? Do I, do I got to go break into a store? Do we got to do a flash mob robbery to get your attention? To get your love, like, you out here with everybody who cutting up. What about me? I just made the honor roll. Nothing. And, you know, it creates a, a division in the community. But that's my thoughts on this. Tell me what y'all think, man. Like, share, subscribe, or die. Try and catch y'all on the next one. Peace.